Okay, so this video is going to cover moving things from Autodesk's format um, into both Twin Motion and into um, Prusa Slicer. So, in particular, what we're looking at is covering scale and how scale um, is modified a little bit program to program based off of what the program is doing with the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, so first we're going to send this over to Twin Motion. Um, so these are 10 foot boxes, and there's a couple of things to note. The first is how materials are going to be applied. So um, the format that we're going to use, uh, typically I would want to use an FBX format. Um, the online version doesn't have an FBX format, though. It is actually going to be using OBJ, which will import just fine. But one of the things that will happen is it is not going to import um, materials. For me it's going to give everything as one material so if i just label this as three boxes i'm going to save it as an obj file and then run the export you notice it's going to create a zip folder for me and i'm just going to go ahead and open that up copy it and move it to my desktop so for the sake of this video it's pretty easy to find so then inside of twin motion what i'm going to do is start with the import open desktop three boxes, and OK. I'm going to find those three boxes in my guide. And you can see I've got three boxes. But if we notice, the scale is way too small. So let's just put a reference character here next to them. So what's happening is that's not coming in um, based off of feet that is coming in based off of meters. So we're going to need to make some modifications to that. So the scale factor, if I use the scale factor converter, so I'm going to use 0 0.0833. So that's one inch equals one inch, essentially. I've got 3,480%. And if I'm scaling this to meters, I'm going to move that to the hundred. So it's 30 0.48% if I remember correctly. It might be 3.048. Let's see how that plays out here in Twin Motion. So I've, with my object selected, I'm going to change the scale tool, click the middle knuckle, and that will give me a number. Let's do 3.048 as my percentage. So that was not the right one, so it's that 30. Let's do that one more time. 3.048 or eight as my percentage. And that should be right at a 10 foot tall box. So now I can take that, move it to the base plane, and I know I'm right at that idea of a 10 foot box. Now as mentioned, this does not carry over individual materials. So my only really option, even, even if I gave those different materials um, inside of um, even if I gave this a different material setting inside of Formit, my only material option is going to be um, one mono material for everything. So if I want these to have different materials, I need to export them individually from Formit. So let's go back into Formit. And the option to do that would be export locally. And I'm going to use selected only this time. So let me go ahead and double click this first box, export locally, selected only as an OBJ, one, 10, box, same process. So now when I import that into Twin Motion. Same location, 110 box. It should ask me something about materials. And typically when I'm importing things in, I'm going to use keep both because it's essentially going to make multiple generic materials for me in terms of the assignment so that I can place different materials on them. Okay, so let's move this out. We need to scale it up. by a factor of 30.8. And now this box, I can apply a different material to. Like that. So that's how I'm going to get multiple materials 
outside of Foreman. The last thing that we want to do in terms of exporting is also move this to Prusa Slicer. So back into Formant. I can export locally as an STL. Maybe three boxes again. All objects this time and export. So that's my file. Let's move that again to the desktop. Then inside of Prusa Slicer, file open. And we are looking for file import. Sorry. Three boxes open. And then if we want this, uh, if we want the boxes to be at a, um, let's say, a quarter inch scale, I would be using the scale calculator. One inch equals four feet. So my scale factor is 634.75%. So inside of Prusa, scale tool, 634.75%. Um, so too big. Eighth inch scale, 317.37. Seven. And so those are ready to slice. So the next step was slice now and then export the G code. And that is ready to go.